All right, so here we go. We are going to do a rear cylinder, wheel cylinder on my 94K1500 Silverado. Uh, here's the new one. Got my DOT3 brake fluid, new cylinder. Just shot a video for doing something else. So my cylinder is leaking pretty darn bad. So I'm going to reposition this camera, get it started. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you can. And here we go. All right, so first what we're going to do is take off Uh, we're going to take off the brake line that's on the back. Let's figure out what size we got. It's not a 13, it's probably going to be a 15. We'll see. I usually would highly recommend using uh, a line wrenches to get these off if you have the accessibility to them. I don't think my line wrenches are the right size though. They're not. I loaned my line wrench set to somebody and that was like two years ago. Haven't heard anything about them. No good deed shall go unpunished. And it is going to be a 14 millimeter on this. Let's see if we get you a better position. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. So, like I said, sometimes we could get this off without taking the uh, the screw or the spring off. This is not going to. This one, of course, be that easy. So, let's see what we're going to do. Let's take this one retainer off. So voila, cut that one off, just got to see where that retainer went, there it is, okay, got that, make sure we have the right one before we install, looks like we do, bolts line up the same, or in the, they're at least in the same position, hopefully they line up the same, that would be the plan. Go ahead and stick this one in the same position. Slap a couple of these screws in. Make sure that the bottom screws are still in the right spot. Oh, there we go okay so we got everything back in the right position 
make sure on the bottom uh, the springs or the channels are still in your springs are still connected everything up here is still good because we didn't remove any of that remember that makes it a lot easier this way now like I said we're gonna have to bleed the brakes and everything let's get you back on the other side yeah. and we'll keep going you're looking right at me you're not really looking at the uh... <laughs> let's see there we go okay so now let's go ahead and tighten up the wheel cylinder bolts from the back Should we do that first or should we do tighten up we'll put your brake line on first let's see if that's straight I'm going to be super surprised. Remember it was a 14 millimeter, but we're going to use this adjustable one. See that wasn't straight. That's how you strip these out a lot. There we go. Got a nice couple turns on it by finger. We're going to do this until it just gets uh, German torque tight. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know German torque specs yet, let me tell you now, it's good and tight. <laughs> so just get this good and tight, and then we'll tighten it down with the uh, 14 millimeter when we get there. Let's tighten up these little nuts. And tight. 14 millimeter, where the hell did I put it? Right here. isn't really fitting perfectly on this new one so I'm gonna try a standard size I am trying this is a 9 16 and that's what it actually is 9 16 so now get this thing nice and tight This way, so you can see what I'm doing. Nice and tight. So now we got to bleed the brake system. go out and buy a brake bleeder or what I have done is I made this little bong looking thing uh, so I can hook it up to the brake line and to my pump so that it won't I can uh, it's not gonna work because it's just too damn old. Look at that. Just shit's falling apart. Need to reseal this real fast. I'll be back. Alright, so I got this hooked up. And <laughs> another perfect thing on my for today is that my vacuum pump isn't working the best in the world. But got my little uh, setup going. 
and what my goal is here is to just get brake fluid to come out of this hose without any uh, bubbles. So if we could get solid brake fluid coming out, that would be ideal. There we go, see how it's coming out? And solid, like I said, is perfect. So you know right now I'm getting, not getting any air bubbles in this system. And since the uh, return hose is in the brake fluid in the little bong thing I made, it's not going to allow any water to, I mean air to get back up into the system. So now I'm comfortable with tightening this up and being good to go. Where the hell did I put that 10 mil? Right there. Maybe later when I have my, uh, have some help, my girlfriend home or something, I'll have her uh, step on the brake and I'll do a pressure bleed just to ensure I have everything out. But nine times out of ten, this is good enough. So that's a rear cylinder, rear wheel cylinder replacement on a K1500. Nice and easy. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Alright. Hopefully you can see a tad bit better. Maybe we'll bring it over here. This one came off pretty easy. These strip super easy. So Always make sure that you're using, damn it. Make sure you're using the right size wrench to do this or else you're gonna run into trouble late, Ted. Now that we got it loose, we could use a different adjustable wrench. And do remember that you're going to have to bleed the brakes when you're done. I usually take these off. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. But uh, I'll usually not put this brake line on until I completely have the new cylinder replaced. Just so that there's no pressure on it. Usually when I do it that way, I can not take the or I won't have to take the uh, the brake pads off we might have to take the uh, spring that pulls the shoes back together though we might have to take that off but we will see okay. Put that off. then there's two little bolts right here that hold it on it looks like they're gonna be two 10 millimeters or maybe just under a half inch day and uh no food and it is a tin mill get that side loose get that side loose
I don't remember if the new one came with new bolts or not, but make sure you don't lose your nuts and bolts like always. Also, when you bleed the brakes, make sure that you use the right size uh, wrench for the bleeder, too. Alright, let's pull you back to this front side of the brakes.